I'm Ron Ownhouse. This is my wife, Karen Ownhouse. And we're members of Our Lady Star of the Sea in Bremerton. We've been Catholics for just a little less than two years now. Confession was not a part of our evangelical Protestant church. In fact, I would say that's one of the things that would be uh, sometimes a little uh, concerned between our, our experience with our recovery program and our church, is that we would have confession perhaps to God but, or to ourselves, but it was private. It was not the confession in the sense of to another human being. Yes, when we first came to RCIA, I had a pretty big issue actually with an aversion to confessing to a person during our RCIA class when he was teaching on confession. Father Lappe was writing on the board and he said, and you all understand it isn't me that forgives you. And he turned around very abruptly and said, because I'm not qualified. And I made a little noise in class because I was so surprised um, and, and delighted that, that he knew that. And then I was able to further understand that this is something Christ gave us. I knew that I wanted to be a Catholic, but I really thought the big event was going to be the Eucharist. I thought confession was just a checkbox that I had to do in order to get there. And part of my reasoning there was I had confessed everything, all my dark secrets to another human being and to God in the course of working my 12-step program in a recovery setting. And I never wanted to talk about some of these things ever to anyone again. So I really didn't like that I was going to have to do that. And I had written it all down on three by five cards. And I did it by decades because I had 50 years to confess. So I did from age 10 to 20 and 20 to 30 and so on until I got to the present day. And when I went in there, I was very nervous and I didn't expect any different feeling of forgiveness. I don't think they could have prepared me or explained to me what the sacrament really meant until I experienced it. But when I left the confessional, I had just a feeling of very deep gratitude for God's forgiveness. And I, I just felt it like I had never experienced it before and it really brought me to my knees. I keep going back because that continues to be a good experience for me to go to confession. That sacrament is, is just something that I really, it really took me by surprise. It's not necessarily that I have big mortal sins that I go in to confess every month, but even my venial sins, I feel a, a, a forgiveness, a sense of forgiveness that I don't get any other way. I never like going because I'm nervous and I'm always very, I'm very present with the fact that it's hard. It's hard to do the examination of conscience. It's hard to admit where I've gone astray. I don't like that part, but I do it anyways because the graces and the good feeling and the closeness that I get with my Lord is so worth it. It's not that the world changes any because I've done a confession, but I operate better in it. I would just really encourage people to, to try it, to go in there with the idea that they're going to experience something beautiful and there's no way to lose going into a confession. I think the Holy Spirit's involved with the priest and the individual in a way that makes it good, always.